So this is what happens when you stand and you wait with the dog. What's going on is the tension is increasing as the dog approaches and as the dog walks away, the tension decreases. And so it's much easier for her to control the barking. Now we're gonna show you an alternative solution. Now we've got the slip lead up high, right behind the ears, which is the ideal placement for these types of walks, especially for reactive dogs. What it does is it gives them maximum communication and boundaries so that they can't go and do whatever it is that they wanna do. So the goal here is to maintain composure, for the dog to maintain composure while passing triggers. Now we're about to pass by an off-leash dog park. Hopefully there's dogs in it. <laughs> and there is, great. And we've got no issue. Bike, no issue. Now, you'll see the way the walker is holding the slip lead because we don't want to pull back. We don't want to pull it all. The dog is directing our actions. So if she's holding it at a consistent place. So should the dog pull in a direction we don't want to go, here, let's turn right, uh, then, then the pressure is exerted and it's the dog doing it. So we are not punishing anything. We are simply offering proper reward and correction when she's walking well. So when a dog is walking appropriately, that is when we include the vocal reinforcement of good girl, good, good job, okay? Person coming, you always put yourself in between them and the dog for added protection just in case. Interested in human. And we've got success here. <laughs>